today on Living Hakuna. Now, just a little story of how we learned to kite. So we traveled in that little Mini Cooper through the through Europe. So we went to. Oh, we got married in Colombia because I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Deco. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. Hello, crew. Good morning. So. Today, guess what we're doing? We're kiteboarding. So I know yesterday it was super rainy and really dark and cloudy, but today the sky is blue again. It's a little cloudy, but nothing we can't handle, but the wind is on point. It is the bomb right now. So we're taking the bears with us. We're taking our kite gear. And yeah. We're gonna kite, we're gonna let the bears loose so they can exercise and spend some time on land. And that's about it. We're gonna get our harness. Whew. Looks really empty when we don't have any kites, right? Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. Pretty windy today. There's like, I don't know, like it's pretty gusty as well. We have like, 18 knots to 16, maybe 16, 18 knots of wind, I think it is. Right, babe? How windy is it? 16 to 21. What are you kiting with? A 10. A 10. I'll be kiting with the 8. Unless it's not windy, then I take the 10 and then he's screwed. Can you See? Nothing seems the same. Always on the go now. Never seem to slow down. You've been playing games. You don't pick up the phone now. Well, you know I'm never home now. Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you? Cause I've been missing your body right beside. myself so what I do I put this right here oh. so I connect my chicken loop here and I can go and lift up my kite there and it stays by itself and then I come I hook my my chicken loop and then I'm set to go by myself and then to lower the kite same thing I come I hook my chicken loop I lower the kite stays there by itself and then I go grab my kite that's it been driving me crazy. I can't take this. All I wanna do, all I wanna do, all I wanna do is be right there for you. Be right there with you. All I wanna do, all I wanna do, all I wanna do is be right there for you. Be right next to you.
Eco, cuidado, eco. Sí. Hey guys, I'm back. So we found this. That was the blind up. Uh, so we found. <laughs> Echo, come, come, acá, acá, eh, acá, come, come. Echo, si acá, acá. Echo, Oti. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we should wait, see if it gets better. The yeah, wind shifts a little bit. Yeah, the wind's being covered by the mountain and it sucks. Really bad. Last time we kited here, it was honestly the best session of my life. But it came straight from the ocean, it didn't come from the mountain, so. From that little opening back there, came straight from that little opening and it was perfect. Today it's coming like this from here. So that's no. Since we're kiting right now, just a little story of how we learn to kite and when we learn to kite. Baby, come, let's tell a story. We learned to kite back in 2016. 17. 2017. So it was three years ago. Yeah. And go. Go. Oh, you go. Oh, you go. <laughs> and we went to Cabarete for three months. Yes, we lived there for three months. Cabarete is a town in Dominican Republic and it is just amazing. If you want to learn how to kite, that's the spot. Yes, like that's the sure. spot. And that year we had just like begun our business. We had just left our job. Like things were just changing and we're like, well, we can work from anywhere. Kiting always seems like the sport. Like it just seemed like something really cool we wanted to do. So we just picked our bags, rented the house, rented our car. And, and when we got there, we were like, oh my god! This, this place a is town. a little town! Like, there's no buildings. It's nothing like what we were used to in Miami. So. Part of the epic. Yeah, and then by the time the three months passed, we're, we didn't want to leave. We we're like, oh my god, I can't believe we have to go back to the city life in Miami. That sucked. And that's when the travel, later ha the travel trader happened. That's the story, guys. are here they're enjoying the day enjoying the water oh man we're gonna miss the Bahamas water so much the color of the water here is just amazing we're gonna miss it so so Super much clear. aren't you gonna miss it yeah I can't believe we have to leave this place we should move here full time hurricane season sucks hurricane season sucks postpone it please
Ah, oh, que frío. <laughs> Are you going to tell me what happened? <laughs> Don't your mama touch you in a minute. <laughs> Wow. Tell me what happened. What are we looking at? I, I don't know. I we got a message from a follower or what's it called? Like a yeah, someone in Instagram. Someone yes. that follows us on Instagram. Telling us that there's a tropical storm coming our way or forming. Yeah. So guys, the situation right now. We are in the Bahamas. We are anchored. Um, right behind Paradise, Paradise Island, and if a tropical storm comes, it's no bueno. This looks pretty rough. What does it say? Look at that, 44 nuts. So, we're here, we're here, and this is a tropical storm, this entire thing? Next 10 days. Next 24 hours, but we're gonna run. We're gonna make no, it. we're not gonna make it, baby. Yes, are. are you kidding me? No. The next 10 days, it's gonna get worse in the next 10 days. And there's a pretty bad storm. Look at the wind. Look at a little flag. It's ripped. Yes, people. Okay, so I'm making water because I have to take a shower. We ran out of water. So, and I'm gonna make lunch. Hello, guys! What's up, people? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so, guys, baby, why is it a special day today? Oh, it's our anniversary. I know. How you say? It's our four year anniversary. Crazy. We've been married for four years, and I've been taking this guy for nine years in total. <laughs> so it's been nine years in my memorial you guys can do a, like a little statue or something <laughs> no it. you can do a statue for me like who stands who do i stand him or does he stand me please comment below please comment below <laughs> we know the answer <laughs> we know not the answer <laughs> um so yeah we're cooking right now how can we thought about making like a celebration or something for our anniversary but it's such a rainy day so how's your cooking going what you doing Some let's see tofu covering barbecue sauce oh my god so this is not we're, we're inventing here we're, we're getting creative here because we obviously as you guys know we haven't we don't haven't gotten any food so we ran out of eggs our last egg was used in a cake <laughs> the day we were having movie night so so now we're out of eggs so we're going to see if by using the barbecue sauce the bread actually sticks to it the bread comes and we can fry it it's gonna taste like barbecue tofu we'll see how it goes we're just getting creative here you know? or I think people would want to know how do we support like how do we stand each other 24 7 living on a boat with nowhere to hike or nowhere to go and fight and yell and laugh and cry all the things, all the all the mentioned previously, all the things mentioned before. This is what we use. <laughs> you sound like a killer. Oh, that looks good. I think it's gonna taste good, baby. It's sticking. Uh, since we left our jobs, we have been spending 24/7 with each other. Whether we're traveling, whether we were in the little tiny travel trailer this has been a thing that we've been doing for the past three years and honestly it's what I wanted uh, personally it's I don't know maybe you should ask Alejo, I should ask Alejo too. but I'll ask him in a little um, but it's definitely something I wanted I wanted to have more time to spend time with him I wanted that's it's exactly what I wanted like that's that, that's really the reason that motivated me to quit my job is because I wasn't having enough time with him and I didn't get married for that, right? Like, if you get married, you want to spend time with that person. Like, in my opinion, I don't know. So, um, is that what you wanted to spend 24 seven with me? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Do you like it? I love it. You love it like my glove it? Are you frying that tofu? Yeah, we're supposed to taste it. 
before we try. Oh, that is totally a test, guys, because we don't know if it's gonna taste good or not. Before we even left our jobs and before we decided to live this alternative lifestyle, we had always been in love with traveling. After we started dating for the first month, um, Alejo went with me to Mexico because it was my graduation from my high from my school in Colombia. I spent like 12 years in Colombia, so I kind of wanted to be part of it. Thing. And then a couple of months later, we started just kind of working and saving all our money so we would travel. So it was this thing like where, where our friends were partying a lot, we would just be like. No, we would still party sometimes, but not as much, and we would rather spend our money traveling. And we went to the U.S. Virgin Islands. We went to Jamaica. We went to we went to New York. Then a couple of years later, it was in 2013 when we decided to go study abroad. Supposedly we were gonna learn French, but we failed miserably because everyone spoke Spanish, not French. <laughs> so while we were studying abroad in France. He's always been, Alejo has always been in love and super passionate for cars, motorcycles, you name it. He's like all over, all over it. And so while we were living in France, he had this crazy, like, he just started loving the Austin Mini. So we traveled all the way to Ireland to buy a car. It was like for how many, how much was it? Like 2,500 euros? Once we finished our studying abroad courses, we just decided to let's do a Euro trip. So we traveled in that little mini Cooper through the through Europe. So we went to Greece, we went to Croatia, we went to um, Switzerland, we went to England, to, yeah, we went to England, we went to Belgium, we went to Hungary, we went to Spain, we went to Czech Republic. Oh my god, you guys, you name it. Like, we literally went all around Europe, and it Albania. was just... Yeah, Alba we even crossed through Albania. We went through so many incredible places, and that trip literally it changed our life. It was just... Oh, and my sister, she joined us. So my sister flew to Sweden, and we, p we picked her up, and she just joined us, and she traveled around with us, and it was just this crazy adventure, you guys. Sometimes... One time we had to sleep on a beach because we didn't have any money so we actually had to save like we would eat pasta all the time and we would eat um, just rice and beans just so that we would save enough oh, money just always, to travel. It was always pizza and... No but before, to save money oh, before. Yeah. And then while we were traveling we would eat like just a big pizza between all of us maybe twice a day and that's kind of all the food that we got just so that we would have enough money to keep traveling and put gas on the car and just keep traveling and traveling and traveling and it was amazing it was one of the best experience of our lives i don't think it i don't think if we would have had that experience we would be the people that we are now because it just changed us in so many ways it kind of opened the world up to us and it was incredible like honestly it, it was incredible oh so i was saying so sometimes like one time we had to sleep on the beach another time we couldn't find a hostel and we had to sleep in the car imagine three people sleeping in a tiny car like i can't even explain like the car is maybe one fourth of the saloon here right yeah possibly the it's inside smaller than the regular room. it was so small and it's just kind of like that car with so many memories and it just reminds us, I don't know, that we're always kind of capable of doing everything that we set our minds to. So then, after 2013, so we went, we came back to the United States, we got finished, I, uh, we finished college, like we got jobs, just a regular thing. That's when we decided to get married. We got married in Colombia because that's where our families are from. Alejo is from Medellin, my family half was from Armenia, the other half from Bogota. So it was just the perfect place to do it. We bought the house the same month, May of 2016, we bought the house. And then a few months later, guys, we were just like, well, we did not sign up for this. We did not get married for that per person. I, it, was, it was mostly me. I'm very, you know, um, I can't take something that I don't like. So I just, I wasn't happy with it. So I just told Alejo, and he was like, you're crazy. You can quit your job. I'm not quitting the job. You know, we just bought a house. We have bills to pay. I'm like, no, dude, we're both quitting and we're not working anymore and we're starting this. And we started our business with $5,000. We struggled. We have been through so many rough times that I can't even tell you guys. Like, 
we have been through, you know, just being in debt, like knowing that we had to pay our credit cards and not having a penny to pay them. And I remember when we were in the travel trailer, we didn't have the money. Honestly, there was one time we had to pay like $16,000 from a credit card like that we used to pay our inventory. It wasn't really money that we were spending on us. It was money on the business, you know, inventory that we had to purchase to keep up our business. But it's just very hard to like get the cash and everything. We've had really great times. We've also had really tough times like that time. And also in Dominican Republic, like we spent one time, we spent so much money on inventory and the inventory just stopped selling. It was so hard, like business wise. We've also been sued by a competitor who just wanted to like get us out of their way. And it was so hard for us. And that was super recent. That was maybe three, four months ago. And it was really really hard on us like we have cried we have been together through like through so much together that it's just kind of those things that you know we're here because we've been able to push through those hard times and and through you know like just knowing that we have to stick together like things are gonna get hard but we have to just push through stick together and que tal mm. Oh my god, guys. Break from the story. How was the tofu with barbecue sauce and... It's really good. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. You ate it all? <laughs> you guys, it's so good. It's like barbecue. It's perfect. Mm. Okay, so this is the way you do it. You put the barbecue sauce on it, put it all around it. Good job, baby, good job. Long, Showing long, our long barbecue. Our crew how to make some tofu. And then you dip it on the on the breadcrumbs. You know, you dip it on the breadcrumbs. Whoa, it was really the bomb. So good. Oh! One of the good parts, like when we were traveling through Europe, we ran out of money and and we're freaking out because we have no money. And then we try to get a, you know, there's these things where you can work for someone in, and in exchange, they give you accommodation and food. So we go to this place that was supposedly a winery and we're thinking, oh my God, we're gonna be so fancy tasting wines and all this thing and working for a winery, making wines and picking up grapes. Okay, this was a person that wanted to convert a, almost like a jungle, I swear, into a winery. We were there for two weeks. We couldn't last any much any longer. Alejo was already like this skinny. I swear, he looked like a mosquito. He was so skinny <laughs> because he was so hard work. Like they gave us a machete and we just had to work with the machete, just cutting around like places to make it like all even. It was so hard. So. Oh man, it's been like, it's been a huge journey, I swear. Like then comes the boat, right? Then we are buying this boat and just finding a way to make it happen. Alejo has this crazy idea of buying a catamaran. I'm like, dude, this is never gonna happen. We're not millionaires, are you crazy? That is not gonna happen. It happens. Somehow it happens, you know? It's kind of those things like the law of attraction when you set your mind to it. We went through so much with another boat, like on the buying process, it was so hard, we struggled. But here we are, living on a boat. And now here, you know, we're very happy. Sometimes, you know, obviously we're just a regular couple, just like you guys at home. We fight, we have our discussions. Sometimes we love each other all the time. Sometimes we don't, and it happens. And yeah, what do you do when you're stuck in a small place like this? Uh, <laughs> you may want to jump off the boat. One time I was really mad, put my snorkeling gear on and just started, I was just <laughs> swimming, swimming to me. I'm like, I could totally do this. And I never moved. I was right next to the boat the whole time. And I was just trying to like release all my anger. Other times we just take the dinghy and like, what do you do when you're fighting with the only person that you have next to you, right? Like, what do you do? So we never last that long fighting. We're always like, oh my God, how long is this going to last? This is a really crappy situation. Like, let's just get along and then you know, if I have to apologize, sometimes Alejo apologizes, sometimes I apologize. You know, it's just not being proud. And we've been able to manage. We hope we have, it's four years today, and we hope we get a million more years together. Right, baby? Yes. Okay. Yeah, a million more. Yeah, that's the story, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. 
How is our story time? Story time. How is our tofu going? Good. I hope you're not filming my boxers. I am not filming your boxers. <laughs> you told me not to film your boxers, but if you do that, I'm totally no, gonna no, film no. your boxers. So moral of the story, guys. If you have kids, if you have teenagers, encourage them to see the world. Encourage them to go out there to face their fears. I was so scared when I thought about, you know, going to study abroad. I didn't know if Alejo was going to come with me. And I was scared. I was freaking out. And it was the best decision of my life. So encourage your your uh, kids, your teenagers, whatever you have, like, just to see the world. This is such an amazing world full of so many opportunities for all of us. So, yeah, take advantage of that.